Muhsin uh, says, is it permissible to pray istikhara for others? People in Pakistan go to professional alims who pray istikhara for them and tell them the result in a day or two. Istikhara is something where you yourself seek Allah's guidance over something you want to do. You cannot pray istikhara on behalf of others as you cannot enter the masjid, for example, with a friend of yours and then tell him, listen, uh, you pray two rak'ahs, tahiyyatul masjid for yourself and then pray two rak'ahs, tahiyyatul masjid on my behalf. For me, I'm just going to sit down immediately. This is not applicable because such ibadat, such forms of worship can only be done by the individual himself. He cannot deputize others to pray Sunnatul Fajr on his behalf or ask someone to pray Witr to, tonight because I don't feel like praying. Or uh, would you fast next week in Ramadan for me? This is all not possible, not permissible. As for the alims who do this and make money out of it, that's why some are very rich because they fool people. Imagine if I would charge a dime for every time someone asks me for istikhara. So, Sheikh, my, my daughter is getting married next week. Can you pray istikhara for me? Sure thing. How much? This is haram. This is consuming people's money unlawfully. And this is why these and ha correctly described as professional alims. They're pr like professional uh, uh, wrestlers, professional uh, uh, lawyers, and professional people who embezzle others. No, this is not right. You can charge money for teaching people the Quran. This is halal, the, as the Prophet said this. So you can charge money for uh, uh, um, selling someone's property and get a commission over that which is halal but to make ruqya to fast miss days of Ramadan on behalf of others this is not permissible and it's an innovation and Allah Azza wa knows best